Oh, this is not what I was expecting. Mm -mm. Hello my friends, Jetron is here, and in today's video, we have some new products from Trader Joe's, or what I like to call Trader Ho's. Why? I don't know, it's just funnier that way. Now, if you haven't seen my other Trader Joe video, I will link it up here and down below, but pretty much, that was the pumpkin overnight sleeping mask. I freaking love it. I think it was so worth the money. Unfortunately, it is discontinued as of now because obviously it's not autumn or fall, but I do think they will bring it back next year. I will let you guys know when that will be back. But anyways, Trader Joe's is just literally killing it with their skincare products. They're just releasing so many because it is the holidays. And I saw too that I was very intrigued and I had to buy it. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is the Pink Peppermint Face and Body Mask. Obviously, it's the holidays it makes sense they would come out with something that has peppermint in it and the second products are these moisture lip balm sets i thought you know what let's just give it a try let's see if they are moisturizing or not so with that being said let's dive back into the pink peppermint face and body mask this does retail for 6.99 usd and you are getting three fluid ounces which is great it is more than the pumpkin face overnight sleeping mask which only comes with two fluid ounce now based on the description of this mask it does say that this mask has kaolin clay which helps exfoliate your face alongside with jojoba beads it also includes cooling peppermint extract and manuka honey so it seems like this clay does exfoliate while giving your face a cooling sensation and also maybe nourishing due to the manuka honey but we should definitely see that in the demo video now to apply this mask you just apply onto cleanse skin leave it on for only five to ten minutes i would not go anywhere past ten minutes because this mask is very drying it can definitely ruin your moisture barrier i had to learn that the hard way with other clay masks in the past so just fyi after 10 minutes wash it off with lukewarm water and then add some moisturizer back to our skin to bring in that hydration that we need now opening the box up you do see the product that comes in a aluminum squeeze tube bottle it is very different from the pumpkin overnight sleeping mask which definitely comes in a glass jar with a plastic lid this one definitely does feel more luxurious in terms of packaging but i don't mind this one also because if you do want to travel with this or take it anywhere it is a little bit more lightweight but yeah just a quick opinion on both of the packaging now before we do dive into the demo of this video of course i gotta take a quick sniff of this product because you guys know i like to smell things Hmm. Hmm. okay so based on what i'm smelling i can definitely smell the peppermint i can smell that minty like sense to it but also i'm getting this like fresh cologne scent to it it kind of smells like something you would find in a men's body wash or a deodorant men's deodorant but yeah very interesting i thought this product would smell more like a minty toothpaste <laughs> or maybe like the mint julep mask you guys remember that mask oh my god og i remember that mask was so popular um back in the early 2010s that mask was a throwback definitely throwback was it good for our skin probably not but a lot of people did use it all right so enough rambling let's dive into the demo of this video now we're up close and personal again and if you're familiar with my videos I like to demonstrate the products on one side of the face and on the other side I like to keep it bare just so you can see any difference between the two okay so let's go in she liquidy okay she's a little liquidy here ready Okay, so I look pretty ridiculous with one side of the mask on my face, but here it is. Um, the consistency is pretty liquidy. I was very surprised. It did spread pretty evenly, um, but yeah, this is just one coat. I do feel the minty or tinglingness to it. It kind of almost hurts my face just a little bit, like it has that like, pulsing sensation. I'm just going to leave this for five to 10 minutes and we shall see what this will look like when it's completely dry. So it's been about 10 minutes and the face mask is completely dry. My my face does feel pretty snatch uh, the tightness is there but I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys that was probably the worst 10 minutes of my life like the stinging oh man you feel it I can kind of still feel it right now but it has kind of died down <laughs> but anyways I'm just gonna go wash my face now and show you guys both sides of the face all right so I am back again and can you tell the difference between the two 
It looks like the side that I did not apply the face mask, it looks a bit brighter than the side that I did. Um, but also maybe because it did irritated my skin and the, like acne scars as you can see. Now in terms of how it feels, the side that I did apply the face mask on, it really does feel a little bit smoother, a little bit more polished, so that is nice. My face feels pretty warm still. That peppermint is not playing when it comes to the face mask. I really do think it really irritated my skin, so. I got some thoughts. All right, so let me scoot back and give you guys my final thoughts on this product. All right, so I'm scoot back and you guys, my final thoughts on this pink peppermint face body mask. Uh, please don't buy it. Please, no, no. This, this is not it. As you saw in the demo video, my face, like, it was sort of red, which is, it's normal. But after I, like, cleanse my face, you know, apply sunscreen, put on makeup, I could still feel that burning sensation. Like, my face was so hot for the past, like, four hours. I kid you not. I can really tolerate harsh products on my face, but this, oof, this is, like, on a different level. I just... No, 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 don't buy it. Eh -eh. Before buying this product, I was looking on Instagram of people who are already buying it. And a lot of people were saying how, you know, peppermint oil is not really good for the skin because it can really irritate it. I should have listened. I should have listened to them. I don't know why, you know, I thought it would be any better if I tried it. Even though this product did leave my face feeling smooth and soft and a little bit supple, I will say this is probably better for the body just because our body has more of a thicker skin and I think our body can kind of handle it more versus our faces. But again, if you have sensitive skin, even on your body, don't use this. Don't buy it. I'm just telling you right now. There are other better products in the market that pretty much does the same without leaving your face feeling like it's on fire. I much rather prefer the pumpkin overnight sleeping mask than this. Oh yeah, before I forget, the fragrance out of this world. The fragrance is pretty, it has a strong fragrance for sure. Even though you're just leaving this product for five to 10 minutes, you will probably not like this because it can kind of give you that nauseous feeling. But yeah, I'm just telling you right now, just save your money, don't buy this. And I'm just saving you the pain before you encounter anything more. Moving on, the next product we have here is the Trader Joe's Moisturizing Lip Balm Set. This does retail for $5.99 USD and you are getting six different scents or six different flavors, which does include almond cream, strawberry tangerine, watermelon, peppermint, raspberry cream, and last but not least, green tea, which is definitely one of my favorites. Based on my research, it seems like this moisturizing lip balm set has been out in the past before. Um, if you look on YouTube I've seen other people doing like an unboxing of it so this is definitely not new but I didn't see this last year so I do think they just kind of recently brought it back so here is the packaging and as you can see it definitely does remind me of the Nivea lip balm if you ever have purchased it or seen it in stores very simple it just comes off with a top and you just screw it at the bottom to get the product out applying this lip balm to my lips it just nicely glide onto my lips and surprisingly it is very moisturizing a lot of times chapsticks or lip balms it can be very oily you know like very slippery very greasy feeling and some of them just like sits on top of your lips it doesn't really like sink in and kind of hydrates I'm kind of surprised this is pretty moisturizing it does leave like a satin sheen to it just a little bit not too glossy but there is a little bit of reflective shine to it all these lip balms does come out clear there is no color tint to it I would have loved to see maybe watermelon or sweet tangerine or even raspberry cream have some sort of like pink or red tint to it i think that would have been really nice again it's not the end of the world so clear lip balm probably the best way to go after applying this lip balm for about 30 minutes i started to notice the inner corner of my lips started to dry out a little bit if you do have dry lips like i do this is not the holy grail, okay? These lip balms are just made for people with like normal lips. If you have some dryness here and there, that automatically tells me that this doesn't really last as long as I would like. But then again, I feel like this product is just one of those like fun novelty items, you know? Not like those holy grail items. Now before ending this video, of course I have to smell each of the lip balms. Hello, I love my scents. So let's start off with number one. This is almond cream. Mmm. Okay, so almond cream smells like, like a light cocoa scent. Number two is strawberry tangerine. Mmm, 
Mmm. So strawberry tangerine smells like a light scent of a fruit punch. It smells so good. I want to eat this or I want to drink it. <laughs> Third we have is watermelon. So this smells like an artificial watermelon scent, but very lightweight. Number four, peppermint. Oh yeah. This just smells like regular peppermint. Number five is raspberry cream. Oh, this smells like a dessert. It kind of smells like a raspberry pastry. I, I definitely want to eat this. Yummy. And last but not least, green tea. I don't know what's the best way to describe it, but it smells kind of like a little bit earthy. It has that natural leaf smell to it. That's green tea for you. All of these lip balm scents, I mean, it smells really nice, very lightweight, nothing that will give you that nauseous feeling if you are sensitive to fragrance. So that is nice to know. So overall, I do recommend the moisturizing lip balm set. I do think it would be nice to give as a gift or even add it to a stocking stuffer. You know, give this to like six people, one chapstick per person, call it a day. There you go, $1 each. Hello, who wouldn't like that, right? Come on. But when it comes to the pink peppermint mask, oh no, no. No, no, please don't do it. Save your money. I mean, I guess if you want to use it on your body and have that cooling sensation, okay, fine. But still, please don't use this on your face. Burning sensation, no, no. But with that being said, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up because it will help me in the long run. And of course, I will talk to you guys soon in the next. Have a great one. Bye.